What's up guys, Briar Rabbit here, and take a look at this. Is this thing sexy or what? This is the white edition of the Xbox One. As you can see, the console is white, the controller is white, but they left the Kinect black, and I think that's actually a good decision. This thing is only going to be available, at immediately anyway, for people who work at Microsoft, and I think actually specifically people who worked on the Xbox One. I think that's a mistake. I'd love to buy this thing. I'd, I'd be all over this. It, it's too bad they didn't make this the launch edition, you know, like that day one edition that they're touting. That'd be awesome. Imagine if you, the only people who get the white one are the people who pre-ordered, you know, and got that day one edition, and then they never released the white one again. That would be pretty cool. It'd be a pretty nice piece of, nice piece of swag to have. I have the unpopular opinion of actually liking the way the Xbox One looks. I think it looks kind of like a high-end piece of home video audio gear. Uh, you know, it would kind of fit in with the rest of your stuff, like a receiver or a high-end Blu-ray player. It doesn't look so toyish as the Xbox 360 does with that kind of inhale shape that they touted uh, at launch. I think the Xbox One is a major improvement. I'm a little disappointed that it's got to be so big as it is, and I do think the PS4 looks nicer, but man, I like this white version of it. I think that's really cool. Uh, you know, I figured I'd show it to you. Even though you can't get it, I figured I'd show it to you just in case you were interested. I thought it was really cool looking, so... In the description of this video, you can find a link to a video interview with Mark Rubin, who's the head of Call of Duty Ghosts. And it's actually a pretty interesting video. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was pretty informative. Uh, some of the takeaway notes for me were the fact that every version of the game is actually being developed by Infinity Ward. They didn't like go out and have you know the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions made by like another developer. Uh, all of them are developed in-house. The PC, the Xbox One, the PS4, the Xbox 360, and the PS3 are all being developed in-house. And he kind of said that there's basically going to be three versions of the game. There's going to be the PC, there's going to be the Xbox One, and there's going to be the PS3. I'm sorry, the Xbox 360 and the PS3. So the three versions are PC, Xbox 360, and PS3. And that the PC version is actually very similar to the version that's both on the PS4 and on the Xbox One, which I thought was pretty interesting. And I'm sorry, I actually made a mistake. It turns out that the Wii version, the Wii U version of it, Call of Duty Ghosts is being developed by Treyarch, which I thought was actually really interesting as a side note that, you know, Infinity Ward is developing every version of the game except for the Wii U version, which is developed by Treyarch, who normally has this year as kind of a development year. So it's probably just a small piece of Treyarch who's developing the Wii U version. I wonder if there'll be any significant differences, though, just because Treyarch is doing the development for the Wii U version. It'll be interesting to find out. I'll definitely, be, I won't be buying that version. We do have a Wii U in the house. It rarely gets turned on. But I will uh, read a review or two just to see if it is any different. I doubt it will be. It'll, you know, it might feel a little bit different just because it's on a different uh, console with different controllers. But I'm sure it's mostly just a port. But I thought the interview was pretty, uh, pretty revealing. So I figured I'd share the link to it. Check that out in the description. Last and most probably least, there seems to be another Xbox One launch date rumor. This one coming out of Amazon. Uh, they've got their Xbox One games kind of scheduled for November 27th. Anybody who remembers, that's also what Toys R Us said. And I tend not to believe this rumor. I'm still looking at November 5th as the most, my most expected launch date for the Xbox One. I think November 5th makes the most sense. It is also the uh, the date that was leaked on Microsoft's own website. So, you know, we don't know when this thing's going to be released. We're still waiting on it, and hopefully we'll find out soon. But November 27th was leaked. I don't think it's going to be right, though. It seems too late. It's too close to Black Friday. There's going to be too much foot traffic in stores to be releasing a new console. It just doesn't seem to make sense to me, the release on November 27th. We'll have to see it, though. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Dropped it. UAV on standby.